Hello there, you're watching Dansky, and in this two minute tutorial, we're going to learn some of the benefits of using clipping masks in Photoshop. So you can see I've opened up a vampire inspired composite that I've created, and we have the background, which has the subject all on one layer. And then we have this blood effect here. And in the folder, there are a bunch of different layers, and it gets quite complicated, but We'll ignore that, we'll leave that collapsed for now. And it doesn't matter if this is a single layer or a folder, clipping masks work with either. So let's go and add an adjustment layer from the bottom of the layers panel, and we'll change the hue and saturation. Let's say we want to make the blood effect a little bit more pink. So as I adjust the sliders, you can see it changes the color of the blood, but it also changes the skin as well. And if I check the colorize box, well, it completely changes the color of the skin and the lips. But what about if I want to only isolate this hue and saturation effect to the blood effect on the lips? Well, first of all, let's make it pink because that's the goal. And then what we can do is right click on the hue and saturation adjustment layer and select clipping mask and you'll see that it clips that effect to the layer that is directly below it. So the arrow pointing down indicates that this hue and saturation adjustment layer is only affecting the below layer. So it doesn't get as far as changing the color of the, the subject on the background layer. And the underline effect here on the blood effect folder indicates that this has a clipping mask applied. And we can actually go and add multiple clipping masks so remember, just a new adjustment layer, right click, create clipping mask, and then anything you do only applies to that layer. And you could even add a normal layer. So let's just go and get the brush tool here. In fact, we'll make a clipping mask out of this first by right clicking and selecting create clipping mask. And then as I brush in these speckles, you can see that they only apply to the area where the blood effect is and then I could blend that in using a blending mode and you can see all of these arrows just stack up pointing down to the blood effect folder which could also be a layer and it's underlined and you can stack as many of these clipping masks as you want but there we go that's how to effectively use clipping masks in Photoshop